what it is what it could be it is the kid the goat the young guy toby the tyrant and we are here again today with a build video this one's slightly different though i received a request from one of my subscribers that he wanted a prime blake griffin clippers build he looked on youtube and he didn't really find what he was looking for in the promoted and recommended videos so he reached out to me and we are here at his behest to make him that prime that excuse me prime blake griffin video so uh let's get right into it position wise we're gonna go with center over power forward yes blake griffin was a power forward and is a power forward but as a center you get more defensive and rebounding badges so i feel as if that helps in the long run he's always been an efficient rebounder not so much a defensive stalwart but those extra rebounding badges come in handy skill breakdown we're gonna go with finishing now physical profile you can either go with uh i'd say strength and vertical or balanced i'm gonna go with balanced here either is a pretty solid choice to be honest and getting into the attributes close shot maxed out driving dunk maxed out standing dunk as well maxed out mid-range max three point you take up to a 44 max out both the free throw and the post fade respectively max out the pass accuracy take that post moves up to an 81 to get that 13th playmaking badge max out your interior defense your both your rebounding categories are going to get maxed and you're going to take your block to a 74. Now doing all this makes your layout look like so with 21, 10, 13, and 11 badges respectively in those categories. Getting into body shape, we're gonna go with Built. He's always been a very cocky, stocky type player. So Built seems very accurate in this situation. He's always been pretty ripped. Now height wise, you can go with 6'9 or 6'10. At both of these heights, you get pro elite and big man contact dunk so it really doesn't matter which one you choose it's up to personal preference at that point i'm gonna go with six nine uh his weight he's 250 you can go above or below that depending on what you want i'm gonna stick with the 250 now his wingspan is listed as 83 and a quarter the closest thing you can get to that is 83 right here you can go 84 if you want to go one tick up from that i'd recommend going either default or maxed out we're gonna go maxed out in this situation gives you a 76 block uh doesn't take your mid-range that low like you'll still be able to green if you know your jump shot at that point now getting into the takeovers the only two practical options in this situation to me are post scoring to make you more of a demon inside and glass cleaning your glass cleaning is mid to high 70s at its best so i'd say going with the glass cleaning takeover is the best option in this situation seeing as it'll help you hold box outs for longer and secure more boards for your team seeing as your 6 9 the max wingspan and the high box out capability is going to come into handy in helping you secure what boards you will grab now getting into the badge layout finishing this is where your bread is buttered my friends so you're gonna go with the hall of fame contact finisher like i said you get all three available contact packages hall of fame slithery hall of fame uh live city i'm gonna go silver put back silver back down silver drop stepper for when i want to be in the post uh silver pick and roller to work in unison with lob city slithery and contact and probably a bronze relentless and you can put uh you can take these off or take whatever silver off and put it on consistent or fancy it's really up to you at that point whatever works best for you and your play style shooting badges i definitely go with the gold quick draw gold hot zone gold deep fades and bronze slippery off ball if it was me you have an 85 post fade might as well utilize that to the best of your ability with that gold deep fades i choose deep fades over range extender because like i said your mid range ranges from 67 to 62. yes you can green with that but range extenders for long twos and deep threes you're not shooting any threes with the what is it like 43 uh, attribute rating in that category you're not hitting the ocean with a rock with that so i'd go with hot zone hunter it'll help you be more effective inside as you get those hot spots and even on your post fades it'll help you increase as opposed to going with corner specialist or catch and shoot even pick and pop or maybe dead eye maybe i'd put on dead eye drop this to silver put on a bronze dead eye to help you for your post fades but that's really it course slippery off ball helps you with the oops and quick draw helps you get the shot off on those fades we all know how fades work Let's get into the playmaking, the post playmaking to be exact. Not really the dribbling and passing aspect that a point guard has. Uh, we go with bronze bailout, bronze break starter. It's better to have them than to not have them. But here is where we get into it and it's interesting. All right, you go with the gold dream shake. Helps you become a demon in the post, increasing your efficiency. 
Gotta go R. Kelly on the post spin technician, even more of a demon in the post. Then you go with the Trinidad James on the quick first step, making you explosive out of your triple threat off the dribble. That is how he caught most of his bodies in his prime for the Clippers. That's the way Blake Griffin did it. And you got the silver unpluggable in case you get in the post and they wanna double team you because they know they can't handle you at that point. Now, defensive wise, you gotta have bronze box. Yeah, I know you might want, oh, rebound chaser to help me out, but what you need more than anything is the bronze box. Remember, you're 6'9", yes, your max wingspan, but your rebounding is a 70, uh, mid to high 70s, like I said. So you need that box to help you hold those box outs to secure those boards to win those games for your team. Uh, I'd go with silver pogo stick, like I said, you're not the tallest center in the patch, uh, so having the ability to jump repeatedly helps you to secure more rebounds, block more shots, contest more shots, whatever's necessary. Uh, you can go with silver intimidator or even gold. I'd probably go with sil uh, silver at this point, uh, silver brick wall as well. Bronze chase down to help me out a little bit and probably um, silver rebound chase or maybe bronze box. I'm sorry, silver box to give you a, a more balanced layout. Or you, like I said, you can go with bronze box, make it gold intimidator, or even go gold brick wall. It's really up to you at that point. But that is my Blake Griffin build. Uh, the jump shot isn't right here in this grouping, but you'll find it in the animation store as well as in the jump shot creator. Thanks for listening. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed, as well as drop a comment if you have any suggestions or if you have any builds that you want me to make based off NBA players for you, I'd be more than happy to oblige in that aspect of the game. Remember to share with your friends and family and other 2K players you know or YouTubers you know. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'm gonna be coming out with more and more videos, build videos, gameplay commentary, breakdown videos, uh, as well as highlight mixtape videos every month. So just let me know what you want. And thanks again for listening. I'm Toby and I'm out.